Okay, so I want to share some digital knowledge with you. But before I do that, uh, I want to share these um, pictures professionally shot with you. Um, they're pictures, um, it's a, a folio that I'm very proud of. Um, I took these pictures with a digital SLR. Um, I spent um, possibly, I don't know, a four hour shoot around um, the different areas of this building. Uh, I won't tell you where the building is. And uh, it took me about maybe just short of two days to get through post-production. And I'm really proud of them. And unfortunately I found that um, RMIT has acquired copies of these photos somehow and is using them as uh, screensavers for their library desktop computers available for public use by the students at this, um, at this university. Now the object of this exercise is to demonstrate using audio and video that digital security and intellectual property and copyright is very fluid. Now by taking a video using a digital handheld camera at a laptop computer screen, who owns the copyright and intellectual property of the video I'm creating? Is it RMIT with their images now only in about 30, less than 30% of this camera frame? And how does RMIT prove and protect their images that they've gone to a lot of trouble and expense to create and how do they protect it from someone like me using it for their own purposes. So in digital, the digital world, the digital environment, copyright, intellectual property, footprints and security are very fluid and there's no way known that RMIT could have stopped me from using their images for my own purposes to demonstrate the very areas that I've been asked to explore. And by the way, I didn't <laughs> go on a photo shoot with a digital SLR. These are not my images, they are RMITs. And uh, in my opinion, RMIT hasn't done a great job of <laughs> protecting these images because you can see there in the black, there's some white text that they've inserted to identify the building and the area. Good luck to them. And I hope uh, this provides a little bit of insight.